Woman's genius DIY project turns an old rain gutter into something from her dreams. When it comes to gardening, budget and the amount of outdoor space a person has to work with can stop a lot of would-be green thumbs from even getting started. If you only have space for one lackluster pot, why even bother? The size of your yard and the amount of money in your bank account shouldn't stop you from growing all the plants your heart desires though. With the right resources and a little bit of know-how, anyone can have a real garden. Did you know that all it takes to make your very own personal Garden of Eden is a visit to the hardware store? Watch on to see just how easy gardening can be. To begin this project, all you need is a few cheap gutter pipes. You can easily pick these up at the local hardware store. Start by using a saw to evenly divide the gutter into three separate pieces. Be careful, that saw is sharp and you don't want to lose any digits. The next step is very simple. Don't be intimidated by the big powerful drill. All you need to do is pop a few holes into each of your sawed off gutter segments. These are going to act as drainage for your finished product. Now it's time to get a little bit creative. Lay your gutter segments on a piece of cardboard or some leftover newspaper or other scrap. In a well ventilated area, preferably outside, use metallic spray paint to evenly cover the gutters. You may need to apply a few coats. The next step can be a little bit tricky so don't be afraid to take your time on the project. Using thin metal bars or metallic wire, wrap both ends of the gutters until only the top of the gutter is still totally exposed. Reference this photo here for help. The next thing you'll need to do is measure and cut two pieces of durable wire roping and hammer a loop on the top of each rope into place. You'll need to have an idea of where exactly you'll be hanging your planter before you do this step so you know exactly how long the wire needs to be. Next you're going to hang your metal ropes from hooks already secured to the spot where you've decided to hang your planter. While hanging it outside on a terrace is a great idea, this project looks just as good hanging inside your home. It's now time to affix your dried gutters to the wires. Using the holes you drilled earlier for drainage to thread your wires through, brackets can secure the gutters to the wire at the base of each draining hole. This might sound like a lot of work, but it should only take a few minutes. Once you have the gutters in place and the completed look of your planter established, you'll want to use a level device to make sure that each planter segment is hanging safely and evenly. You don't want it to be crooked at all. Now that your planter is ready to go, you can fill it with the soil of your choosing, seeds or even germinated plants, and voila. Go ahead and enjoy the results of your hard work. Look at how stunning this planter winds up being. It really transforms the space. What an ingenious idea. Did you have any clue that gutters could be used this way? Usually pieces like this cost a fortune, but not with this easy DIY project. Share this cool project with your friends below.